In this lesson, we are talking about shapes. We have the option to add and modify shapes in the presentation. Let's insert shapes. Now, as you can see, the shapes are already using the colors of our color palette. And because we have been using a combination of fuchsia and orange, we are going to keep doing that. Remember that the contextual menu will give you options for the specific object selected. If you have text selected, here you will have options to modify the text. If you have a shape selected, you have the different options for uh, this particular object. On style presets, we can choose the color for the shape based on our current theme. We want to keep the orange, so we go there. We can also have a gradient of colors, like in these cases, starting from the uh, main color of the theme and um, gradually moving to the chosen color. We can change the opacity. Let's move this back to a solid fill so we will see better what's going on. The opacity is the opposite to transparency. So we can make it more or less transparent. We can also use any other colors or create a new color. And we can even use the color picker to choose a color from the screen. This is in the basics on working with Prezi lesson early on the course. Just go and find it. You will see how to work with all these options. Now, this is a very cool feature. And again, you select your object on color, fill color, you can move the corner radius. That means that you can round up the corners of your object. And you can, of course, change the size. And now that I'm doing this, it seems that you are getting to a visual style for our presentation. So further on, we will be working more with the colors and how we represent our brand uh, throughout the presentation. Of course, we can add more shapes. Let's add a shape to create a sort of frame for our presentation. Let's change the opacity and make them the same and fix the corner radius so they work together. We can change the border thickness and the color that we want for our border. Let's do the same with this other one. And choose the color, use a white. This is no good because we are superimposing one border with the other. So it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad either. So we are going to keep it for now. On manipulating Prezi, uh, remember working with images, the advanced and lesson, you can group elements. So let's say that we want to use this element throughout the presentation in other topics. We are going to select both. I'm using the shift key on the keyboard to select both. And you can see how the selection frame gets bigger because it's selecting both objects. And with the right click, I'm going to group them. So they will be kept together. If I, if I grab one and move, both move. And with the right click, let's add the object to my library. And now let's add the object from my library. Because it's grouped, we go to group items. And we have the image that we saved before. We don't need to use it here because we already have 
a design that we like, we're going to just delete it. So this is it about working with shapes. Change the color, change the border for square element, opacity, grouping elements, and working with my library. We are going to use this element throughout the presentation in other places.